I'm Simon de Puri, I'm the chairman of Philips, de Puri and Company, and I'm very happy to welcome you all here in our new London headquarters. This is a very vibrant, exciting space in which we want to do a lot of activities, not only auctions, exhibitions, we want to organize lectures, concerts, seminars, and so I'm very excited to see that so many people are already here tonight and that we had such successful auctions already in the first days in this new building. I'm very excited because we had four major auctions today. Uh, we had the Golinelli co collection, which is this wonderful uh, Italian gentleman, and he is a young octogenarian, passionate about art, and is selling in order to buy even younger art. Philippe de Pori uh, asked me to explain the, the spirit of the collection when art meets science. Then uh, the Faber collection where every single work is selling for exceptionally high prices. I am selling about 75% of my collection, but I'm still buying. I still have the, uh, the addiction, and that's not going to end. The third collection that we are uh, selling today, which is John Stewart, who is this American collector who had the foresight in the late 80s to buy uh, art by some of the um, formerly unofficial artists from the Soviet Union, and he bought some very strong, good works. At the time I bought the work, I thought that there was not a, any understanding of the work. What I'm particularly proud of is what I think we have achieved at Philips is to really uh, get the art out of their respective ghettos. We don't want to sell uh, Russian art in auctions that are only uh, aimed at Russian public. We want to open it. Uh, that's why we did it at the same time as our Chinese auction. We did it at the same time as our international auctions. I love having a great Bulatov next to a great Warhol, next to a great Kippenberger, uh, to have the best art from all over the world and to sell it to clients from all over the world. I'm very thrilled about the sale today because it showed that this uh, contemporary Russian art is still going strong and artists like Trukov and Faipisovich are commanding quite high prices. Tonight, in order for everybody to recover, the minute the last auction is away, first we will put the paintings into safety, and then uh, Nile Rogers, uh, the legendary uh, guitar player and band leader of Chic, will play with Chic, and they will give a little concert. And so we should give the chance for everybody to dance and have a bit of fun. To have a concert after an art auction is very weird. It's, uh, I think it's the only place I know of where you have a concert after an art auction. But I think it would be interesting to know how many people are here to buy paintings and how many people here are for the party.
Now, obviously, as soon as these sales are over, uh, life continues and the market continues. Uh, in less than one month, we'll have our main auctions in New York. And so the market constantly evolves. And I look very much forward to let you know at RTV how I feel the market is developing and uh, how it's all progressing.